Hey, covering New Haven County for nearly 20 years, New Haven's Westville neighborhood has graced the community with art and culture. And this weekend is the 19th annual Westville Village Art Walk. And to tell us about the arts festival is Muffy Pendergast, an art work volunteer for many years. And you brought so many amazing things to show us. Thank you so much for being here, sure. Muffy. So, all right, first of all, let's talk about this bike that's knitted. It's our yarn um, bombed bike. It's incredible. And that was a big part of the whole festival this year was the yes. whole area is yarn bombed. Can you explain what that is? Sure, there's about nine or 10 trees in the um, Westville area that have all been yarn bombed by an artist that Lotta Studio brought in. She asked other people in the neighborhood to start knitting and they all got together and they stitched up the trees and there's spiders hanging and it's incredibly festive so you have to walk through and see that. And then the bicycle so cool. is just a even more glamorous. Yes, will people be riding this today it. or somebody will be yes. riding it around? You'll see Getting it around. Getting everyone in the mood, I yep. love it. So what's here, what's this? Well, this is a representation of all the art, all the artists that are gonna be open in their studios today. Perfect. Specifically, Gar Waterman, who is a metal sculptor and a stone carver has brought the little bird. Um, and then cool. um, painter Frank Bruckman has his studio open today. And like about a dozen other artists will be open and there'll be art tours and bike art tours and, and speaking uh, open of galleries. bike art, yes. this is your own little creation. So Muffy, hop on here, because you're gonna pedal. What is bike <laughs> art? Exactly. So how does this bike work? This is my spin art bike. It's kid powered or Powered Adult by power. me right now. Big kid. So I wanted, what am I supposed to do? Well, once I get it going, okay. um, you just start spilling paint. You don't have to squeeze it that much. It should drop out. Okay. And you're going to create a masterpiece. And this I is why it. I'm wearing this the shirt that I'm wearing right now. All right, All right. Sam. I don't want any paint on me. Go ahead. Yep. Very cool. A little bit of red. What gave you the idea for this, Muffy? I wanted a um, battery-free art experience for people that they could do it outside in the park and it would sort of make a spectacle. And the kids can do this Oh yeah, today. all ages, yep. And, and we have... And there are other arting, or sorry, painting opportunities as well? There's about five or six other things that they could do. Whoa, that is so neat. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, so why is this like a perfect Mother's Day activity for a family? Um, it's a perfect way to spend the day. Whoops, I think I'll, I think we'll stop now. Yeah. That looks pretty cool, Sam. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of a big deal here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I but can that's imagine kids really loving that. And, yeah. and trust me, I have no artistic ability at all. And that's that's pretty sweet. <laughs> can I have that? I'm pretty proud of I myself. I think you should hang it after I'm it going dries. to. I'm going to hang that. Yeah. Sign it. It is might pretty cool. might be worth a lot of money someday. Mm, I that's wouldn't right. go that far, but it does look nice, though. <laughs> um, but what other activities do you have for the whole family? That There's people... music everywhere. Yeah. There's like three different stages of music. Um, there's lots of other things for kids to make. And if they want to give a gift for their mom for Mother's Day, there's vendors. Um, there's artisans that are lined up on Central Avenue, so the street's closed off. So cool. There's tons of things for people to um, explore. That's and great. you can get on a bike and burn some calories too. You can. Yeah. After you, yeah, after eating all the food from the food trucks. <laughs> and yeah. The local food trucks, music, all sounds like a great, great day. Thank you so much, Muffy. Yeah, good pleasure. stuff, Sam. Good job. I'm very impressed. I'm and proud for more of information, and I'm glad that you didn't get the paint on us too. <laughs> That's even more impressive. That is true. Um, for more information, head to our website, wtnh.com. Just click on the on-air tab and pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section.